Do you ever feel like the sound effects and music that come built in with Retro don't fit the theme of your super cool room? In today's video, I'll show you how to add your own with just a microphone. This works on every platform and I'll show you how. Let's get on how to record your sound effects. So first, you want to pull out your maker pen and you want to spawn a sampler. Uh, basically what a sampler does um, is records your audio and saves it so if you want to play it back at any time you can just trigger it using maybe a button or a trigger zone or an interaction volume. Now this is the V1 version meaning the old version. So if your room is using old chips, the CV1 chips, um, you can do this. If you're using CV2 then you need to use a audio player. Audio players are kind of the same thing, but they're more um, advanced. You see all these other chips right here. Uh, if you want to record your audio, you need a sample audio constant chip. Use configure on it, chip settings, edit sample. And here you can record your voice and play any sound effect you want up to 300 seconds and then you can also trim it down if you want I can't because I didn't record anything and I won't but you know it's great to have next up is screen mode aka mobile PC console you know all of those those are in the same category if you're on PC bro this is so easy what you need is a soundboard application that lets you, you know, play sounds to a certain mic. And basically what you do is you configure your rec room microphone to the soundboard. So when you play a sound from your soundboard, it should go to your microphone. A good app for this is Voice Mod, since that's, you know, the most popular. Um, I would show, you know, a video on how to do it, but unfortunately I don't have access to a um, Windows PC, which is what rec room's available on so i'll leave that stuff in the description to download for free um some features may require payment but i don't think you really need those um if you're mobile you're kind of screwed um unless again you have a soundboard i don't know if soundboards work well on my uh, mobile because i don't use it um you could probably you know get a tv play it through there but just like I said with the VR, it may not be high quality at all. Um, if you're on console, you can play it through a phone. If you have a good microphone, you know, good, decent audio quality microphone, you'll probably get it good. You know, just gotta mess around. If your mic has mic settings, like an equalizer or um, noise canceling, you may want to mess with those. I can't really tell you the best settings for those since I don't have that type of headset yet. Uh, VR might not be the best option if you're trying to get, you know, very good quality. As you can hear, you, you can hear my mic quality since I'm recording in a rec room. It doesn't sound great. If I were to record um, a sound effect that has a lot of detail, um, you would probably hear um, background noise, movement, you know, all that other stuff that you don't want to hear in sound effects. If you're trying to really be immersed. So VR is not a great option, but um, if you really need to use that and that's your only option, what you need is a SAMP and a very quiet room. I'm pretty sure a quiet room applies to all of these steps, but I need to make that note. You need a quiet room. I know like, like Quest 2 and other headsets probably have noise cancellation but you can't really trust that a lot because some things can slip through. All right, that's all of the platforms that I can, you know, discuss. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and if you want to know how to find the best sound effects, you know, high quality ones or specific ones that fit your type of room, click this video right here. Um, I show you three very good sites um, that are completely free in terms of sound effects that you can use without worrying about copyright anything. Although I doubt you'll be copyrighted for using it in your record room. You're not making money for it. Right? Anyway, see ya.